How can anyone forget the country supergroup, the Highwaymen? Waylon, Chris, Johnny, and Willie. I mean, come on, with their hits like Desperados, Waiting on a Train, and The Last Cowboy Song, that list could just go on and on. But is there another supergroup in the making? And will it be outlaw and pure and get away from this pop sound? Well, it sounds promising. Talented fiddle player Amanda Shires recently said in an interview with 91.9 WFPK, we've been writing some songs together for a new project I started with Brandy Carlisle. Me, her, and Margot Price. We've got a new group called The High Woman coming up, as an exalted, not stone. Shires also made sure to let everyone know that the project would be to play more country music. Shires' publicist has since revealed that Margot Price will not be a high woman, and an Instagram post made by Carlisle shows the now third high woman as Marin Morris. Oh, and not to mention, the musicians taking part in the recordings you got the likes of Shires' husband, Jason Isbell, and Peter Levin, who was the former Greg Allman Brothers keyboardist. This first record can't come fast enough, and traditional country fans are finally getting some good news. Moving on to Luke Bryan, Luke Bryan has recently agreed with Reba McIntyre on her stance with female artists not getting the recognition that they deserve and being upset with the category of Entertainer of the Year. This year's Entertainer of the Year Award has nominees of Keith Urban, Chris Stapleton, Kenny Chesney, Luke Bryan, and Jason Aldean. Luke Bryan recently did an interview on Profile by BuzzFeed and agreed by saying, it's something the country music community has taken note of, that women artists aren't being truly recognized like they need to, and it's something on everybody's radar. Luke, however, would go right back to speaking on his own nomination and say, I always have to go into it with the mindset, I've worked hard, I've done my due diligence, I should win. Well, I don't know about how you guys feel, but Brian feels pretty confident about his nomination. And last but not least, we're going to switch gears to new music. That's right, Brad Paisley's got a new song titled My Miracle and is dedicated to his wife, Kimberly. Paisley is known for his soft ballads, but this time he tells Billboard, I can be a little honorary when it comes to writing love songs. I don't typically put it all out there, but in this one, I did. This is the most powerful statement I think I can make. The one I wrote it for, she is my worst critic typically, but in this case, I think I got it right. I don't think there's ever a time where Paisley just doesn't get it right. Well, that's all for today's video. Make sure you subscribe down at the bottom for updates on your favorite country artists and all the news coming right out of Music City. Y'all stay country.